Yes people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So are you seeing this? I was just sitting down watching some Mexico against Poland and Manchester United have announced Cristiano Ronaldo is to leave Manchester United by mutual agreement with immediate effect. Yes, that is breaking news right now and you're going to get my immediate reaction to that news right here on this channel. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, liking, commenting, sharing, etc. as this news breaks after Cristiano Ronaldo's interview with Piers Morgan where not only where he called out the Glazers and we all loved it, but that was the only thing I really loved because Cristiano Ronaldo went a long way to making this happen. In fact, it kind of felt like that was his intention and calling out the manager saying he doesn't respect Eric Ten Hag and complaining about his treatment by the manager who, in my opinion, hasn't treated Cristiano Ronaldo with disrespect and hasn't treated him, you know, unlike any other member of the squad. He's been treated exactly like everybody else and he's fallen out of line. He's been punished, but he was also treated with respect. And Ten Hag never called him out in the press. Ten Hag even made him captain after his indiscretion. So for me, Cristiano Ronaldo wasn't disrespected by Eric Ten Hag and calling out Eric Ten Hag was a massive mistake but what that did was it made it certain that Eric Ten Hag could never select Cristiano Ronaldo again and it left United with an issue what was going to happen to Cristiano Ronaldo now Cristiano Ronaldo is a free agent because as this statement says and I'll read the full thing Cristiano Ronaldo is to leave Manchester United by mutual agreement with immediate effect the club thanks him for his immense contribution contribution across two spells at Old Trafford, scoring 145 goals in 346 appearances and wishes him and his family well for the future. Everyone at Manchester United remains focused on continuing the team's progress under Eric Ten Hag and working together to deliver success on the pitch. And that's exactly it. This is a Manchester United that needs to focus on the manager and what he's doing and put the manager at the top of this club and as someone that makes the decisions. And I feel like this would have been a decision that would have been forced by the manager, but also, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo didn't just criticise the manager. So I think people on the board would have been looking to make this kind of thing happen as well. Thankfully, it's not messy. It's not going to end up in court. But I kind of, as I said before, had the impression that Cristiano Ronaldo wanted to make this happen if you looked at it in the summer he wanted to leave United no one really came forward for him maybe because Manchester United wanted a transfer uh, fee for him maybe because of the way you know all those kind of things now he just needs to ag agree a deal with a club to pay his wages and of course he'll get some form of signing on fee but there's no you know there's no barrier in terms of a transfer fee with United they don't have to negotiate with the club and Manchester United now can move on and look forward we don't have this looming shadow of Cristiano Ronaldo. I thought Eric Ten Hag handled it pretty well. In pre-season, Cristiano Ronaldo wasn't there for whatever reasons. We understand that he had family issues. Fair enough. Eric Ten Hag defended him in the press, but he got on with things. You know, he said he wanted him to be a part of the squad, but also he was focusing on the players that were there. Cristiano Ronaldo comes back for the Real Vallecano game, participates, plays 45 minutes, leaves at half-time. Again, not what we want to see as Manchester United fans, a player leaving at half-time. But Eric Ten Hag said, I have had words, but not only with Cristiano Ronaldo, but with the rest of the players that left. He made sure it wasn't just a Cristiano Ronaldo issue. And then we get into the season. Cristiano Ronaldo plays a lot of football, although he wasn't first choice. And the reason that he played a lot of football was because we had injuries to the likes of Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford at times, Sancho, Anthony, etc. So that meant Ronaldo played a lot more. He didn't perform though. You know, he didn't score any goals. He scored two goals. I think they both came against Sheriff. And ultimately, he was missing chances left, right and centre. And there were a few times earlier in the season where we went, oh, Ronaldo takes that chance that Rashford gets, but would he be in the position? And then Ronaldo's getting chances and he's not taking them. Look, I still think Cristiano Ronaldo can score loads of goals for some club. But that club isn't Manchester United. Manchester United aren't a team that are going to be focused around just getting goals out of one man. We're a team that's focused on, you know, the whole team the tactics and the philosophy of the whole team and everybody has to pull their weight. And that's not to say Cristiano Ronaldo never pulled his weight, but he obviously didn't fit in with the way that we wanted to play. And Manchester United are a better team moving forward without him. And of course, the circus that came with it isn't what we wanted to see because we saw after that Real Vallecano game and after Cristiano Ronaldo had played games um, and, and was given minutes for Manchester United, 
United beat Spurs with one of the best performances of the season. He leaves on the 88th minute, 89th minute before everybody else. What is the point in that? You're clearly trying to make a statement. You're trying to make it all about you. And again, at that time, I said Eric Ten Hag's handled it fantastically well. He punished Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo trained with the 23s. Then he was brought back in. He had to start games because we needed a striker. He was even given the armband further down the line. And Ronaldo talks about disrespect. Eric Ten Hag has no choice but to let him go. And Manchester United, I feel, were given no choice but to let him go because you can't let someone like Cristiano Ronaldo rot on the bench. You can't let someone like Cristiano Ronaldo rot in the under-23s. That's unfair for someone of his stature and of his career. And also, the headache that would cause Manchester United. We knew after the Vallecano game, Tenag's handling it well, but you know it's going to crop its ugly head up again soon, this issue. or a non It's a non-issue, but of course, because it's Ronaldo, because it's United, because he is who he is. And I feel like he's struggled to adapt with the fact that he's no longer the Cristiano Ronaldo that was winning Ballon d'Ors left, right and centre, you know, winning consecutive Champions League. He's not playing in the Champions Leagues anymore. And I really want him to go on and win the World Cup this year, just, you know, put the cherry on the cake of his career. But he's no longer the player he once was. And I feel like he struggled to adapt to that and, and become a part of a squad. And he needs to be the main man somewhere. Someone will make him the main man. Whether he goes to a league where, you know, isn't in the Europe's top five leagues, isn't going to participate in the Champions League, and he goes somewhere like Saudi Arabia where there's big money coming from, I don't know, you've, you've put yourself in this position to earn amazing amounts of money, go and do it. But I wouldn't be surprised to see him rock up at a Champions League club, maybe a Sporting Lisbon or something like that, because he'll be in a position now where he can, he can probably afford to take a knock on the head with the wages. Do you know what I mean? He wants to play football. He wants to get back in the Champions League, score goals and keep up that that head-to-head -head with uh, Messi and keep ahead of him in terms of Champions League goals. Go and do it somewhere. Go back to Sporting Lisbon. End your career there. Maybe you'll get the story that, you know, we didn't get when you joined Manchester United. It was a fairy tale arrival when you rejoined United on that day at Old Trafford when we beat Newcastle. But, unfortunately, it hasn't lasted. And I thought last season it was... You know, he was, he, he, he was the silver lining to a poor season for Manchester United. He scored lots of goals. It was great and a privilege and an honour to be able to see Cristiano Ronaldo play week in, week out again, score goals in the Champions League, score hat-tricks, score crucial goals. It was amazing. But this season, it's just not been great, has it? It's, it's not left a great taste in anybody's mouths. And I think we just need to move on. And eventually... We all will move on. We'll forget about that awful interview with Piers Morgan. We'll forget about this horrible season and we'll get back to remembering Cristiano Ronaldo for who he was. One of the greatest players I've ever seen playing for Manchester United. But it's just a shame that it's ended like this. And he has been made, his contract has been um, scrapped at Manchester United. He's now a free agent. It's a mutual agreement, mutual termination situation. Um, but it is with immediate effect. So after this World Cup, he's a free agent. He'll be looking for clubs. Anyway, guys, keep it like, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I have been Adam McCullough. This is crazy news, man. Whoa. See you in a bit.